All right, today we're gonna work on your quads and your hip flexors. Let's first begin by foam rolling. Let's grab your foam roller, lay down on the floor, and all I want you guys to do is nice and easy, nice and passive. We're just gonna roll top down from hip to knee and knee to hip. Once you guys find those spots a little bit more sensitive, I want you to keep the foam roller stay put and start to flex the knee by bringing your heel to your butt and extending back out. So nice and easy for now, just working in the tissue, trying to find those more sensitive areas, becoming a little bit more active release once you do find those spots. Most importantly right now, one of the things we want to remember when you are foam rolling, just to slow your breathing down, try to breathe through your nose only. Tell your body it's okay. One of the worst things we can be doing is holding our breath during this. So once you find those sensitive areas, I know our first reaction naturally is to hold. I want you guys to breathe through it. Start to do some trigger point work. You also can work kind of side to side. The cool thing about any soft tissue work and foam rolling that we're doing here, is it's really almost impossible to screw this up. You guys can go from side to side up and down, inside of the leg, outside of the leg, you guys are just kind of thinking search and destroy, we're trying to find these areas that are more sensitive, right, and working in that specific spot that does feel tender. Good. All right, what I want you guys to do now, let's switch over to the other leg. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Start close to the knee, go all the way up to the hip. Same exact thing, once you find that area that's more sensitive, start to flex and extend the knee, bring the foot close to the butt, extending the leg out. Good, and breathe, and breathe through them. Good, like I said, try to think about the quad itself and the muscle itself kind of being separated into four compartments. So the medial and lateral, and then also kind of the top and the bottom. So we have the top inside, the top outside, the bottom inside, the bottom outside. Try to find which of those corners tends to be more sensitive than others because that's gonna be the area that you guys want to work on the most. Anytime we're doing soft tissue, one of the most important things to remember is Healthy tissue should not be sensitive to the touch. So if you find these areas that do feel sensitive, you're gonna to continue to work until they become less sensitive, right? So an easy example is if you're rolling out the bottom of your quad closer to the knee and it feels like it's an eight out of 10 on the sensitivity scale, you're gonna to continue to work there until that eight turns into a seven or a six or a five. All right, so let's put the foam roller back. Now we're gonna jump into a little bit more of some static and some active stretching, right? So we're gonna do some quadruped position. So what I want you guys to do is to go wrist under shoulders, right? And then on your knees. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna kick back, and then reach out to the side and bring that knee back in. So this is a little bit more of some active range of motion here, just kind of turning the hip on. So you're flexing the knee as best you can, squeezing the butt, lifting that knee like you're trying to lift over something on the side of the body. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing here in reverse. Second rep on the right side, bring that knee up. It's not super fast, it's not super slow, it's more focused on just control, right? So we're turning these glutes on. And why we like to do this is kind of a little bit more almost as an active warm up, is to remember that your hip flexors and quads naturally will become tighter if the glutes become weak. So we wanna wake these glutes up, turn them on, and we'll get a better response once we do get into our stretching and into our routine there. Okay, so just a few reps each side. So now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna kind of go right leg back, left leg up. This is called an extended lizard. So when you guys are doing this, one thing we really wanna pay attention to is becoming completely passive in that backside. So right foot relaxed, extending that right knee. If you try to pay attention to how the torso is positioned to the back leg, it should be in line. So shoulder, hip, and knee should almost be able to draw a straight line. So we're not super active in this position, we're more passive than anything. And the most important thing here that I really want you guys to do is think about your breathing. So as you're breathing, inhaling through the nose, and then exhaling. 
generally easy counts just go maybe three or four seconds in five or six seconds out and remembering that every time we get into an exhale we're trying to relax the hips a little bit more so every time that you guys breathe out you want to think about your hips kind of being pushed forward but you're not forcing this you're letting your breath you're letting the time and the position you're letting that do all the stretching and the work so don't force it don't become too aggressive remember that we're stretching for tightness we're never stretching for pain Good. so work on that breath now what we're going to do is stay in the exact same position we're going to go into a twisted lizard so you're going to take your left hand rotate into your left leg and grab that right foot so this is a little bit more of an active position so now we're throwing some rotation into the body I really want you to focus on squeezing the glutes in this position. So you're pulling that foot up as best you can handle. You're squeezing your butt. Good, and same thing, in through the nose, out through the nose, trying to control your breath. Good, and if this is too hard or too difficult or even too tight and painful, don't be afraid just to stay in that extended lizard position. You don't need to go into the twisted lizard, it's just a little bit more of an advanced a little bit more of an intense stretch as well. Good, focusing on the breath. Good, all right, same exact thing on the opposite side. So first, once again, we'll start with the extended lizard position. So torso nice and tall and long, keeping the spine up driving the hips forward, trying to think about shoulders, hips, and knees being in a straight line. Now remember, this first part is very passive, so we're not trying to force anything here. We're trying to use our breath, we're trying to use our own body weight, we're trying to use the time and the position alone to help create that tension and the relaxing of the hip flexors and the quads themselves. So once again, let's focus on the breath. So inhale, And exhale. Three seconds in. Five seconds out. Good. And every exhale, you should feel your body sinking into this position a little bit easier. It should get a little bit more comfortable every single breath. Stay tall and long with the spine. We're almost there. We're going to kind of work our way into this twisted lizard position once again. So, what I want you guys to do take your right hand, grab your left foot. So, I'm rotating into the right side. Right? That left arm, the one that's down, you're still trying to push into the ground. So, this will help your body create stability as best you can. Remember, now we're a little bit more active. This is a little bit more intense, so now you're squeezing the butt, still focusing on that breath. And if you can't get into the twisted lizard, don't stress yourself out. Just keep that extended lizard position and maybe now start to focus a little bit more on the active work. Active being, we're trying to engage the opposite muscle, the antagonist. So you're thinking about your glutes in this scenario. Squeezing the glutes. Still focusing on the breath. Almost there, guys. Great job. Good. If you're starting to feel uncomfortable, that's okay because your body being tight is going to feel that way. You'll let that breath take care of everything. All right. Great job, guys. Now, what I want you guys to do. We're going to work a little bit more and get these glutes to turn on. So then we're going to do some single leg glute bridges. So all you're going to do is one leg at a time, drive through the heel into a glute bridge, and you're going to flex the other hip. So you see how one leg's down and the other leg is being brought knee to chest. Just nice and easy, driving through the hip, squeezing the butt. Two second pause at the top, just making sure we're getting that max contraction. And like I said, why we keep coming back to these glute activation drills can allow us to strengthen these glutes, which in the long run is going to keep these hip flexors and quads longer because they're overtaking the power of a weak glute. We need to get it stronger. Good, almost there. All 
Alright. Last one of the day, we guys, we're going to go into a full saddle. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to sit on your feet. You can have the feet just outside the hips if it's more comfortable, or you can even sit right directly on them. And depending on how your flexibility or your range of motion is, you can dictate how far back you can go. So for most people, if you can't lay all the way down like Corey is doing, then what I want you guys to do is just sit upright or start to lean back a little bit. Use your hands and your arms to support you. And if you do have that full range of motion through the quads and hip flexors, lay all the way back. Try to relax the spine. And then once again, we're going to come back to this breath. Deep inhale, slow. Long exhale. Good. Using your breath to tell your body it's okay. Using your breath to try to relax into this position. Yes, you're doing a great job. This might start to get uncomfortable either in the ankles or the knees, the hips, maybe even the lower back. If you're feeling a lot of stress in your lower back, what I want you guys to do is maybe lift yourself up a little bit so you're not lying down. The more degree of bend backwards you have, obviously a little bit more stress is going to be put on the back if you have tight hip flexors and quads, which we are working on currently. So I want you guys to be able to gauge that. Pay attention to how your body feels, but most importantly, pay attention to your breath, right? Your breath is what's going to be able to allow the body to relax. It's going to tell the body it's okay. Deep inhales, long exhales. on that breath, nice, slow, deep breathing. Almost there. Good. All right, guys, great job today. That's it for today. What I want you guys to do is maybe just get up to your knees, reach up to the sky, try to get your body nice and tall. You can do a couple things for a rebound, maybe a short walk, uh, maybe even lying flat down on the ground on your stomach or on your back. Other than that, that's quads and hip flexors for today. Have a great day.